So for the fingers, you may want to have a different preference on how to build out your um, sort of controls. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a circle. Uh, if you want to keep it as simple as that, you could. In my case, I'm going to take it to a little bit more to the next level. I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to freeze the transforms on that circle. And then I'm going to actually make another circle and shift it this way. Doesn't matter which way I shift it really, but this way ish. All right, cool. I'm going to bring that down just a tad. And I'm going to use that as sort of like an outward handle so we can actually see the, um, the, the controller through the fingers if we have to. Obviously, this will probably be modified a little bit in the future once we actually align this up to the, um, the rig. But those are the two controls I want. And then I'm going to create a um, EP curve, set it to one linear, snap and snap. So now I have three shapes that I'm going to be working with to make this work. All right, cool. So everything's frozen out except for this one. Let's go ahead and freeze that. Uh, we're going to open up our shapes now. So I want these two shapes to be a child inside of that shape group. So there we go, like so. Same old, same old parent R dash S. And now that control is sort of how I want it to be. Now I could go ahead and give it a little bit more personality. I could go ahead and, you know, scale in these, for instance, to kind of make it a little bit more distinctive like that. I think that will work. Cool. Again, it's all aesthetics. It's up to you how you want to do it. Whatever you think is logical or seems logical, delete these curves. And now I can call this one control, say, uh, in this case, I might start with the metacarpal. So I'm going to call this metacarpal underscore uh, index underscore L. All right, so that would be my first joint down that chain for the hand. All right, I'm going to put this into a locator. So I'm going to add a locator. And of course, I'm going to make that a child of the locator. And in this case, it's going to be OIG uh, metacarpal index underscore L, like so. Just like that. Fantastic. So now I'm going to hide away my display of shapes, and now I have everything I need in that setup. All right. So now all I need to do is grab my next finger, so the index of my finger there, match the transform. So I'm going to keep that open now because I'm going to be doing a lot of that. Match the transforms. And as you can see, the um, the handle is in the wrong direction. So I'm actually going to rotate this along, in this case, it's along Y, 90 degrees, or 180 degrees, sorry. And that will sort of be my handle that I can actually grab them a lot easier that way. Now, of course, I could go ahead and I think I might just bring down inside the control vertice, just bring those down a tad as well. Just so it's a little bit, yeah, that looks a bit better. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to go ahead and freeze those transforms. And there we have it, ready to roll. I could also do the same thing with the circle. I might actually do that with the circle as well. Just um, make that circle a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go to object mode, isolate the selection, and then just select those vertices and just shrink this down a tad. Just like that. That'll do. All right, cool. Get out of object selection mode. There we go. And now we have a nice little handle that we can easily grab at any sort of point. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that process down the chain. So duplicate, maintain offset. Let's just make sure that's turned off. There we go. Maintain offset. And let's go ahead and match transforms. 
Of course, we're going to have to rename these as we go along, but I'm going to duplicate that, maintain offset, maintain offset, match transforms, duplicate, match transforms. So we don't need to um, worry. Oh, shit, I duplicated both. Um, we don't need to worry too much about the end joint there because it's not going to really be deforming anything. It's not really controlling anything. It's just really there for just in case we had to add a constraint to that thing or something like that. So that's basically the setup we're going to go with for this. So for the fingers, I'm actually bring down these control scales just a tad like that. Yeah, something like that. So it feels a little bit more like, yeah, that's the master control. Then we have these sort of child controls, freeze those transforms. And there we go. All right, so now we have all of our offset groups. We have our um, hierarchies ready to be placed. We just need to go ahead and rename everything. So again, just go ahead and set this up. So this index, index one, index two, index three, you know how it goes. There we go. This one's going to be index one two and three and then of course uh, locator or group goes into the control of the previous one the next locator goes into control of the previous one and then of course Finally, the control or the, or the uh, locator goes into the control of the metacarpal. So now we have this very distinct, clear hierarchy. All the, all the orientations are perfect. So now we can get that nice finger curl. Now it's just a matter of connecting everything together. Now, if you were in a rush, you could use just straight up orientation, orient constraints and be done with it. I'm going to go with the connection editor in this case, keeping it nice and clean. So I'm um, going to go to Window, General Editors, Connection Editor, and just go through the process of setting this up. So reload left, reload right, rotate to rotate, and just repeat the process. All right, and so once you've done that, give it a test. And we got a nice little finger action going on there. Nice one. And of course we have the metacarpal also being controlled. So now, rather than me going through all that effort of constantly copying this stuff, now I can just go ahead and select the master group of the um, index, duplicate that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and shift it across with a match transforms. Then it's going to go through the process of just cleaning up those um, hierarchies a little bit. So, you know, this one's in the right spot. So now this one has to be matched again as well. So making sure that it's all perfect. So just do it on the, um, the organizational group. All right, just like that. So now that's all set, sorted. And now if we want to rename all these in one hit, we can select all of these. Go to uh, modify, search and replace names, type in index and replace with middle. And it will select the entire, looks throughout the entire selection there, push apply. And you can see everything's been renamed. All right, cool. So now, same process, match your transform, match your connections, and then you're good to go. So we left, right.
All right, so for the thumb, we only need three joints. So we're not going to copy the entire chain. We're going to copy just one of the chain, one chain, one point down the, the chain. So we're going to get three controls, one, two, three, and we're going to line it up and we should be good to go. So just duplicate. In this case, I'm going to duplicate the index. And then I'm going to pull them out, unparent that, shift P. And then I'm going to grab, oh, I don't want to go from the control. I want to go from the organization level. So let's just do that again, duplicate, and then shift P. Great. And then line it up with the thumb, match transforms. There we go. And you can see it's opposable, looking good. So um, let's grab that, rename those. I think they're all good. They're all land properly. Fantastic. So now just going down the hierarchy, line up the joints again. Again, using the empties or the nulls to do it. Reload left, reload right, rotate to rotate. Reload left, reload right all right cool let's test it out thumb is moving good fantastic great there we go all right <laughs> so that's the entire hand done um, one last thing we need to do though is that we need to make sure that this these all these joints all these um, controls are moving with both FK and IK at the same time. So what we need to do is actually grab everything here and we're going to, um, you can either group it or you can add a, a master null. I'm actually gonna make a new locator and we're gonna line it up with one of these joints down here. So it's gonna be probably the deform joint. Again, line it up. Now you can see it's hardly even possible to see it right now because we have like three, like a bunch of locators overlapping one another. So this one's going to be um, ORG finger parent L. Let's give that a larger radius, five in this case, let's make it big. And we're gonna just chuck every single one of these organization um, uh, nulls into the finger parent. So now that is just one big gr group. And with that in mind, we can now chuck that into, uh, well, we have to constrain it basically to um, the hand joint here. So we're gonna use a hand joint, constrain a parent joint to that null. And then either in FK or IK, those controls will follow along for the ride. All right, so unfortunately there's no easy way to duplicate not that I know of, like without some sort of script or some sort of, yeah, um, shortcut, written shortcut or anything like that. Um, we can't really duplicate this side of the uh, control scheme and then just populate it across to the other side. So you will have to go ahead and just sort of work your way through the duplication process manually. So I'm just going to start off with just this control here. I'm going to, and uh, actually I might just start with a single chain because I can I remember that this side has a larger control. So I'm gonna duplicate that chain there and I'm gonna uh, unparent it from the list like so. So we have this uh, sort of extra piece. And what we're gonna do is just, again, we're going to uh, just for now, bring it across and just match the translation for the time being. All right, because what we need to do is we're going to unparent this one and then delete the other ones in between. So just delete those, just so we have the same scale of uh, controller for everything here. So this one has been um, 
matched in terms of its translation. So we need to match it with its full transforms. And as you can see, we have this issue where the control flips. Now that's not a problem for us necessarily, but it just means that we have to go through and sort of make sure that when we um, fix this, we, we can have the ability to sort of manually flip it and then freeze the transforms without any issue, without the hierarchy getting in the way of things. That's where the real issue is, is just the hierarchy. So we need to just go through and do that. And now we have our template ready to start being produced again. So freeze again. And obviously, obviously starting with the top here, we're going to go ahead and rename these ones on the, oops, in the list here. So make sure index one is now L1. And we've got that metacarpal. Make sure this one is R and R and R1. All right, cool. So now this can now be a child of that all over again. No problems, no muss, no fuss. And now again, the same process applies to the rest of the finger. All right, cool. Just like that. So now we have that whole thing. We can start to do the same process we did before and we should be fine. Okay, so once that's all lined up, we're now ready to roll with the connection editor yet again. All right, so once we've got everything there and everything's been labeled properly and cleaned up, we can now go ahead and perform the same constraint on the hand as we did with, with the other set of fingers. So again, make a new, make a new locator, uh, match the transforms. Ah, fuck. Match transforms and give that a little bit bigger size. Five will be fine. There we go. And of course, we're going to call this ORG finger parent underscore R. All of those go into here. And of course, now this is now going to be constrained by the right hand. So, right hand to finger parent, constrain, parent. And now our hands are now following exactly as we wish. There we go, perfect. All right, so that's the entire rig complete um, in terms of uh, overall functionality. So now all that is required of us is a bit of cleanup and a bit of closing off, locking off of features tidying up our uh, outliner and giving our rig some colors. So let's go ahead and do that in the next video. I'll catch you later.